Hey, pretentious engineer here. I know you're going to ask, but this occurs because of centrifugal force on the glass, which is... Hey, sorry for interrupting myself, but I had more thoughts about why this is impressive. So yes, that equation has to do with pushing the liquid against the glass and the force that the glass is experiencing, but that's assuming constant acceleration. What it doesn't assume is when you're starting to accelerate and when you're slowing down. In those moments, that's when the liquid has the most opportunity to slosh up and over the edges of the glass. So the difficult part is actually getting the motion going and stopping it without having everything slosh out of the glass. The best way to try this is you could fill like a big like water pail or five gallon bucket with a little bit of water and swing it around. And you'll notice that you'll have a lot more instability at the start and end of that rotation. But then once you get it going, you could swing it forever uh, without anything falling out because of physics. There you go. But the man's very talented. I appreciate the art of what he does. And you can sip on that. <laughs>